And a sausage was like something like look like a kamini burger. I don't see you nini. So when the food came, I was told, ma'am, here's your food. Mkasema, no, that's not mine. <laughs> Akashanga. Uwa mtu wakashanga. Akaniangalia. Akasema, this is what you ordered. Mkasema, no. I ordered chips and sausage. Akasema, yes, ma'am. This is chips and sausage. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Habari yenu? Hope you're doing well. Karibu sana to my channel. It is none other than Sharon aka Wabaraka and once again you are welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, karibu sana. Makofi kwa wageni. <laughs> please feel at home welcome and make yourself comfortable if you are a returning subscriber thank you again for always coming back to my channel you are the reason why i keep coming back here if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's just down there it's free like i keep saying ku subscribe ni bure kabisa you are not going to be charged a single penny by hitting that subscribe button it is absolutely free but thank you very much and again make yourself comfortable take a seat chukua kachai na tumandazi hapo ukae chini tusikilize kama wewe ni wago kunda basi kunda tukisikiliza <laughs> but i am delighted and thank you very much for coming back now in today's video i want to give you an experience of my first flight how it was na kwa wale wameshinda green card congratulations if you are headed to america kwa sababu you have won the dv lottery congratulations very much mimi nasikia ni kama ni mimi ndio nimeshinda now i'm just going to give you a few tips as you prepare for your departure kama umeshinda I want to give you a few tips that you need to look out for especially if you have never been on a flight before kama haujawahi kuwa kwa ndege you need to listen to this video my friend you need to listen to this video now let me give you my first experience i have been blessed enough to live in the in the uk and i've also been to the us so i know quite a bit and i can give a bit of um tips for those who have never flown before now mimi experience yangu ya kwanza kwa ndege remember nimetoka Nairobi i'm used to matatus only mimi sijaona hiki tunaitwa ndege nikaingia kwa ndege he <laughs> nikaangalia juu kale kachuma mtu shikilia pale kwa matatu aiko <laughs> and i'm thinking hey sasa hii na vile watu wako wengi tukijaa what what ashikilia chuma wapi na hakuna chuma pale juu because me was thinking there's so many people some of us will have to stand <laughs> so, so. hey then tukaka yo nikaona there are people uh, putting things above you know kuna compartment the luggage compartment that's where people are putting their luggages hey nikajua mimi and i don't know anybody here mimi mzingo yangu sezi yaka huko ibiwe <laughs> never <laughs> nikasema mimi na mzigo wangu mpaka destination ile tunaenda siachi tunatembea pamoja <laughs> so the air hostess came and said um unajua ile wanaongea ndile kizungu akasema ma'am you can't hold your bag you need to put it up in the luggage compartment hata sikusikia amesema nini <laughs> akachukua karibu kwanza tupigana na yeye anajaribu kuchukua luggage yangu kwa nini my suitcase na nilikuwa nimeambiwa hii unaenda nayo niliambiwa hii inaitwa carry on you travel with it ukiingia kwa ndege hii unakaa nayo alafu sasa mtu anakuja hapo anajaribu ati kuichukua Hey, karibu tupigane. <laughs> I said no. Akasema it's fine, it's safe, it's just going to be above the compartment where you are. 
it's safe don't worry man sawa basi nikakubali lakini kutoka hapo nilikaa macho mimi nakaa huko nasikia usingizi na sema he hii siwezi nikalala because it's, um, especially if you're doing a night flight and me I remember that was a night flight ilifika mali kila mtu akalala mimi naangalia na watu wamelala na sema he mimi siwezi nikalala hii yangu kufunga siwezi nikafunga never mzigo yangu ibiwe na isijui imeko wapi na huyu mtu atasijui ni nani never <laughs> so if you're traveling for the first time allow uh, or put your luggage in the luggage compartment it's going to be safe aitaibiwa <laughs> it's not going to be lost or stolen then came the food they bring a lot of food the air hostesses and god bless them because they do such a, a wonderful job when they brought the food now me i was thinking i'm going to get charged and i don't even have money in fact i didn't even have a lot of money the first time that i traveled i did not have enough money so nikaambiwa how what do you what would you like hey nikasema nothing no nothing unkaulizwa are you sure man kasema i no i'm fine i don't want anything <laughs> because in my mind i was thinking i'm going to be charged and i wasn't prepared to pay or spend money that i cannot afford i didn't even want to know how much it is so um that's how i was passed kwa hivyo if you get into a flight and you are given food tafadhali kula yote eat everything <laughs> it's free it's free it's free you're not going to be charged a single penny umelipia kwa ticket so you're not going to be charged then it was a 9 hour flight i remember and of course it got to a point where i became really really hungry and then um I think it was now coming towards the morning when they started bringing drinks oh, no it was actually before um the morning they they brought a trolley now of drinks they were serving food and imeshakata chakula so they now brought the drinks hapo ndipo niliuliza how much is it akasema it's free <laughs> it's free hey, nikas nikafurahi free hey, nikasema okay i'll have so and i ordered whatever i wanted i can't remember obviously it's been a long time so i can't remember but i i remember asking how much it was it was uh, <laughs> that's something i can never forget so i was given the drink and then um, morning came and i asked the same thing how much is the breakfast now it was now breakfast time because it was a night flight and we were arriving in our destination like in the morning <clears throat> So again I ate um, the breakfast and I was quite delighted that they are giving me for free. In fact in my mind I was thinking the food has to be paid for. So we um we arrived to Kafika to Kashuka kwa ndege vile tulishuka we were told uh, where to go and it is usually like a restaurant where you can go and eat some something so i was told what to follow where to go and sit and everything and i saw the restaurants and i was so hungry so so hungry hey nikasema let me go and find out how much that the, the the food is now obviously the food is written in dollars and nimetoka nairobi so you see something like five and i was thinking it came at 5 kenya shillings i didn't know it was 5 power 5 dollars <laughs> so, hey so i went and i said um i want chips and sausage very confidently because that's what i knew i said i want chips and sausage hey my friend guess what i got guess <laughs> chips and sausage i got crisps crisps guys in kenya crisps is what the americans call chips so i got is of crisps and a sausage was like something like look like a kamini burger ada sijui ni nini so when the food came i was told ma'am here's your food mkasema no that's not mine <laughs> akashangaa huo mtu akashangaa akaniangalia akasema this is what you ordered nikasema no i ordered chips and sausage akasema yes ma'am this is chips and sausage <laughs> guy mrs jesus kaivo hey so 
if you're traveling for the first time, please don't ask for chips and sausage. If you want uh, chips, call them fries. <laughs> they, they are called fries. In fact, they don't even have sausage, especially if you're going to America. When you machine a green card and you're headed to America, hakuna sausage, utapata kitu ingine. That doesn't even look close to a sausage. If you're coming to the UK, yeah, you can get a sausage. Lakini kama unaenda America, uitisha chips na sausage. <laughs> Utashanga. <laughs> Utashanga, my friend. So that's something else I learned. And then I came to the UK, obviously. And the UK is, is different because actually they have chips and they have sausage. In fact, they have fish and chips and even sausage. Kama tu za Kenya, the normal Kenyan fish and, uh, I mean, chips and sausage, utapata UK. But to Kenya, America, if you're headed there and ask for chips and sausage, hey, utashtuka. Then we proceeded on. Sisa tukaingia the next uh, flight. Tukaenda, tukaenda, tukaenda. Mbaka tukafika, it was another nine-hour flight. And I think the second flight, I was so tired. I could not resist sleeping. Because Babu, in the night flight, I didn't sleep. Now this was a day flight, but now I'm so tired. That one, I, I, I slept. Atakama, sometimes it can feel a bit funny. It's a bumpy ride. Sometimes it feels like nikama kuna mabamp. Sometimes it feels like mabamps. So Babu, ndege uenda, lafu inaenda. Zinaito turbulence. <laughs> Utastuka, saa ingine inaendanga, unashtuku, unamuko, unashindua gani, tunanguka, ama nini, ninaendelea. So there are those times when you feel like that. So if, even though you sleep, especially if you're not used to, it doesn't feel very comfortable sleeping. So again, that's something else to look out for. And unless you're, you're, you're traveling first class where you have your own bed, unalala vizuri kama kwa kitanda yako. If you're sat in economy class, which most people travel on economy class because it's economical and it makes sense, uta feel the bumps. You will really feel them. And for a first timer traveler, you feel them even more than someone who is used to traveling. So, ushistuke, ndege hayanguki, ini turbulence too. <laughs> then, uh, now we arrived, um, our destination, and now the culture shock. First of all, I was jet lagged. Nililala kama siku tatu. I didn't know it's called jet lag. I could not wake up. Vile nilifika. When I arrived, my destination, nikaenda, tukafika, kule nilikuwa naenda, nika, nikaona kitanda ndio. Hii. Nililala kifo, nikama kifo. Now, there I arrived, they tried to wake me up. Wananiamsha, ninamka kama mtu wamekufa. Wananiacha tu. I slept. Inaitua jet lag. So, what I will tell you, if you can, kwa ndege, if you can, because if you don't sleep, especially if you're going to America, you there's eight hour difference between kenya and america and you're going against the time so the time that you should have been sleeping in kenya you spend that um eight hours a week in the flight and if you don't sleep kwandege you waste another night that you should have slept so you can easily stay for 24 hours a week and that is why people um, get the jet lag so if you can Ukiingia kwa ndege, especially if you're doing a night flight, lala. Try and make yourself comfortable. Try and sleep so that you're not overly jet lagged. The only place you can catch up with some sleep ni kwa ndege. Kwa hivyo lala. Now, I was telling you the culture shock when I arrived. Join me in my next video and I'll tell you about the culture shock. For now, baraka.